Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. So today, as you can see, we are at Coven, and I have my uh, little helmet on. I am ready to do a build. It's going to be a big build today. I already have all my trees, and it's going to be a lot. And I've already done quite a lot of um, uh, terraforming, and then as well as just collecting items, flowers, bushes, everything. So it's all of this area. I'll show you on the map just now. And you can see just how big it is. It's this top right hand corner. Uh, previously I've done this uh, top left hand corner. And you can see all the markings I did for the, I believe it was trees. This time I've gone ahead and done markings for trees, bushes and flowers. Um, these are the flowers, these are the trees and these are the bushes. Um, I've just gone ahead and uh, decided where I wanted to put them all. I've done my paving. I'm hoping this will make uh, the video a little bit faster since I already have an idea of where I want everything to go. So um, I have done a little bit of terraforming on the other side here and a little bit of decorating. Oops, let me get rid of that. And let's see, okay. Um, but I really don't know what I'm doing down here, to be honest. Um, uh, this is between the two builds I did. I, I have a space, but I don't know what I want to do in between. So I decided just to go to the opposite corner and work on what I'm going to do as my museum build as well as my um it's going to be my uh my campsite down here in the corner i just thought i want this little cut off area and i thought well what can i put over here in which people won't need to you know villagers won't need to get to and the campsite was my first thought because um when a campsite villager is at the vill a villager is at the campsite sorry um they don't leave so yeah it is kind of like a little cut off area here are some items that i thought i'd like but besides that, I better get straight into it. I decided um, I, I would start filling my inventory with um, trees and uh, the things I'm going to need. I'm going to eat all of these and then I'm going to put down all of these trees. I'm just going to go grab a whole bunch. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to do this hopefully quickly and uh, you'll see the result as I do a speed build. So let's get into that, shall we? Okay, and I think that might be all the trees. I might have missed something. Uh, maybe around here. Okay, there is one here. Um, oh, and there's a couple up here I've missed as well. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, and now I think I might have gotten all the trees. I'll just keep um, these two in, in case I have forgotten something. Um, I use an awful lot of trees, but, but that is most of my builds anyway. So I think I'm going to move on to the bushes next and then finish up with the flowers. So... I have a whole bunch planted over here and I'll, uh, I'll grab these I suppose and I'll be right back once again. Thank you. 
Okay, once again, I think I am done with the bushes. I will keep a couple in my inventory in case I find spots to put them later. But I'm now about to grab my um, my flowers. So yeah, um, I'm gonna grab um, three different kinds and actually I'll probably pick up this moss at the same time, just in case I find a few spots for them. Um, I do have all my vines in place already, but that's because as I was building, I didn't have a ladder. So I just, I just found using the vines very helpful, very useful. So yeah, I'll be back after picking up all my flowers. Okay, and I think I have managed to get all those flower spots, but once again, I have a couple spare. Um, it's always a little bit more difficult to do the flowers since I'm trying to not use too many of the same type in one area. But yeah, I did the same thing with the bushes, trying to spread them out a little bit to the different uh, variations, different textures in the bushes. So yeah, that, that that's what I was trying to do. Same thing with the flowers. But now we're on to um, some of the decorating. So I think I might start... I guess I could start um, down here and work my way up and then uh, go across from here. Hopefully uh, that makes sense, but I'm going to go ahead and grab some items and uh, yeah, I'll meet you back when I have got my full inventory. Okay, and I have my full inventory. Um, I probably will have to end up picking up uh, maybe even a few trees and things to get what I want. So I'm just going to quickly pick this up. Um, oh, I don't think I can. Oops. Okay, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put um, a wheat field here. Um, and maybe a wheat field here. To loosen up my inventory, I'm going to grab this because I want to put some fencing behind here. I'm going to try and talk you through a little bit of this um, since I don't normally. Since I thought it'd be a bit different, I suppose. But yeah, um, I'm going to, I could start back here, I think, and work this fence down. And I'm going to quickly pick this up just to turn that fence outwards. And I'm going to then put the field back. And I'm going to put the hedge back here as well. The uh, bush, sorry. Oops. And I'm guessing it's going to be this one, this white azalea. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to put a, um, a glowing moss here. That's lovely. I'm going to finish this off with a different kind of fence. I'm going to go with the spooky one. Just here. And simply, this isn't meant to be um, anything nice, so, well, nothing where you're supposed to go over to, it's men mainly just a decorative piece. So, um, I wanted the mush lamp, there it is. And I'm just going to push that, I think, uh, just there, just so it's hidden. Uh, but from here, yeah, just like that, nothing, nothing too fancy. But I'm going to go ahead and jump up onto this section up here and work on whatever I'm going to do up here. Okay, and with a little bit of thought, I think I'm going to work um, the highest point first and then come down. It'd be a little bit easier. Plus, this, once again, um, it's nothing too fancy. Um, I'm going to be, uh, it, you know, putting a few things down. But honestly, um, nothing too fancy. 
because I don't want it to be um, too much of a focal point. It's just decoration once again. So uh, I'm going to put the main piece down is the arch. And here it is. It's meant to just sort of like highlight this waterfall a little bit. I'm going to put down uh, some more moss here and there. Perfect. I'm going to put a probably like a tiki torch here. Thankfully I have one. I'm just going to turn it on. Just create that lighting effect. Um, a couple of the wheat fields since I have so many. Uh, maybe some log stakes since I tend to have a couple of those. And I think to um, sort of like box this area in a uh, hay bed. Not that way around though. <laughs> I want it to flip. Do I want to put fencing back here? I probably do. Um, maybe the stone one. I'll do that first since uh, if I block myself in it will be difficult for me to get out later. Just something like that just so that it seems like um, there is some sort of edge to it but um, I guess I can stick a spooky one just on the end here not that you really see any of this I don't really know why <laughs> I bother there we go just adds a little bit of difference and where is that hay bed um, okay I've got one here right that's again not where I want it that's where I want it now am I stuck no I can get through it. oh can I get through here okay I'm just gonna pick up this bush so I'm not um messing around too much and I'll put it back right away okay so this is uh my sort of design for up here I suppose I could have put something on the floor down here but it's not really visible so I probably won't just for that reason but yeah um, I should probably work on behind here first so yeah let me uh, get some things out and you know what I'm gonna have to grab some more items so I'll do that right now okay and I am back so uh, I wanted to get a vine in with the giant vines and I probably want to put it here somewhere so I'm gonna try and do that um, hopefully it'll fit in right around here it does I'll probably turn it so it's just a little bit more decorative oops okay okay and I can get it pretty close I think I'll do that I'll put that right there I'm gonna run round and I think I'm gonna put a stone wall um, can I bring it even closer I can why not um, I'm gonna put a stone wall uh, back here okay and that's in honestly i probably won't do um too much um behind the museum since it's going to be out of focus maybe i'll go back later and uh, put in some hedges and things just to fill in the space i might even move this slightly further out since i think i'll be able to see a little bit more of it i want to come around the front here uh i can just a little bit i'm gonna put in um a glowing moss um maybe a slightly taller one since it's right at the base of this vine if it will let me i'll be right back when i get that and it didn't take me very long at all perfect uh on this i wanted to put some sort of display so a um a lucky cat yeah um barrel oh i wanted to spin it don't i so that the mark's not in my way the lucky cat and uh, some candles just like that um, maybe even I did see I had a street lamp so I might put that back here as well somewhere uh, that's not too bad and I might even put a um, a wheat field if it lets me there it is okay maybe I'll bring this forward then uh, something like that maybe I'll move it a bit closer to this barrel oh, I'll give it I'll give it a go see if it lets me I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take this down aren't I <laughs> I didn't want to 
but I can't think of a way of doing it. Um, I guess I could have, I could have done this, look. Okay, I got there in the end. Let's see how close it lets me get. Pretty close, okay. And then I'm gonna put the uh, the candles back. Uh, yeah, I think the same place is fine. Okay, perfect. Um, I think I'm gonna put um, an arch or something in this corner, not an arch, um, a broken pillar. I think that could look quite nice. Um, I'm actually just gonna throw um, some flowers, I think some dark ones in this corner, just cause it's looking a little bit barren. That's nicer. Uh, let me go get a pillar if I don't already have one on me. Oh, I do have one on me. Um, is it the big one though, or the small one? Um, I did want, I did want the smaller one, but actually, that's not too bad. Maybe I'll keep that for now. Um, I think I've got plenty more in my inventory anyway, so let's see. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking the look so far. This is kind of what I'm going for. This sort of vibe anyway. Um, let me get out some hedging and I'll work on this area, this little tucked corner here on the left. Okay, and I think I'm just going to put a little bit of hedge back here. I might even sneak in a hay bed if I'm able to. I might have to um, come from this side to do that though. So, um, do I want to put something here? Maybe another... A little glowing moss? Doesn't need to be massive. Oops, my phone is sliding <laughs> off my lap. Um, let me grab that. And I'm just going to push this in against there. Something like that to create a bit of shape, but not really take up too much of the space. I'm going to put some um, uh, log stakes here. I have this simple well because I want it to go here. I might as well do that now. It might get in the way later. But before I forget, that's where I want that to go. I think that looks quite nice. But coming back over here, um, I think some more moss. Maybe a little bit more noticeable than that. Maybe here. And that's my phone falling again. <laughs> and I'm finally happy with that one. And I might even just tuck a green mum here. Um, I don't really want to put too much in this corner. It is getting a bit cluttered anyway, so um, I think I'm going to work over here. And the first thing I'm going to do is put a hedge back here. Okay, and I'm putting this hedge in. Um, I realise I don't really have any more items, so I will definitely have to go back and grab some of those. Uh, predominantly, lots of um, lots and lots of wheat fields, because I'm using a lot of those in my builds. Um, anyway, I'll speed through this because you can't really see much. And there we go, I'm done with that and I'm going to go grab some more items. And with that, my pockets are full. So let me come back up here and put down these wheat fields that I've been holding on to. So I want to put some, I think, back here. If it lets me, uh, let me just move a little bit more. And uh, probably one back here to make it kind of look like it goes a bit further back. Like that. And I also want uh, one of these pillars. Um, will it be in the way? I'm not sure, but let's give it a go. Um, no, that's not too bad. Let's see if I can turn it and make it look a little bit more interesting. Am I going to see anything? Uh, not really, because the tree is in the way. Actually, I think that is fine. Let's put a glowing moss down like I said I was going to. Perfect, a couple of the, um, uh, what they call wheat fields again, lots of wheat fields. Perfect, uh, I might even put one back here. I'm going to go with a little decoration here, I think. So I did bring this uh, mush log, uh, see if I can push it. Um, is there a noise? I think so. I could give it maybe something to sit on. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Do I have something? I'm going to try this. So, um, let 
just a breakup how stark it is sure that looks better and i have some to sit on top i'm not sure let's see and i definitely do not so let's grab something okay and i brought a couple of options so i have a um a candle and a couple of these guys just to see which i prefer and i finally found the candle uh that's what that looks like um that is quite nice uh let's see what the uh gyroid guy looks like and uh that's also quite nice quite friendly um i think they can go onto with these as well although this is kind of out of the way so it's probably not the best place to put one but i think you can put them on top of pillars um i guess i guess i could show you like that um yeah <laughs> it's kind of cute i think i've got a couple more so I, I could probably spare to leave him up there for now i know he's out of the way um yeah I, I think i'll put the candle and then maybe i'll have these guys on top of the pillars instead okay and uh this area kind of done uh, i don't want to over overdo it um it's uh like hard leaning over here like there's a lot going on in this corner um it's very pretty though um so i'm gonna do um this corner a little bit more busy sort of balance that out a little bit um i could also i could also maybe put if i can squeeze by here um just some more color to help push that back over am i going to squeeze by no <laughs> oh well i can escape up here instead okay and i'm up here so what am i gonna do up here um i think i'm gonna take this back and i put some sort of um maybe a hedge maybe some spooky fencing i'm not sure let me pick something i think i'm gonna go with stone i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go with stone and then i'm gonna um do the end with uh i'm gonna pick up this the and you know what? i'm gonna pick them both up this will make it easier <laughs> i'll be right back okay they're both picked up let me just place this now and then i'll put them back where they were um since i'd already eaten those fruit it just made it easier for me to pick them up rather than struggling to um put this behind them so the bambi was here and i think this was just a spruce tree so let's get that in perfect okay um i'm gonna put the gazebo it's gonna be the main focus so i should probably put that down right now and work around it you know what before then wheat fields i'm gonna go on there and um gazebo gazebo now okay how much room have i got to work with can i fit it can it go further back it can so i can push it right into this corner okay okay plenty of room to work with um i think a a nice glowing moss here uh, another wheat fields uh that's good okay mushroom maybe up the front here oh some log stakes that looks better maybe a mushroom um over here instead okay um a another wheat field <laughs> i use so many of them i'm questioning myself am i going too much um let me stick a uh, moss here something a little bit taller uh four is fine that's looking nice already um i guess i could pull this forward a little bit because i feel like it's it gets lost um the hay beds oh can you fit in the other way around i don't know if you can no i don't think there's enough space okay uh another wheat field then and that is fine i think i'll do i'll keep this as my decorated area um uh, hopefully it's not too much i think it's quite nice um let me oh can i fit can i fit back down there maybe i should go this way if it lets me nope nope okay hopefully i'm not stuck oh and i squeeze back there perfect let's see what it looks like from the bridge i think that's quite nice um a lot of the details do get lost because you're not going to really see it so i don't think i need to go too heavy 
over there. Um, right, I want to put a bench, I think, on here, which means I need something behind it. Uh, stone again. But how much space have I got? Not a lot. That actually looks fine. Um, where is this bench? And I finally, I finally found it. Um, let's see. Can I? I didn't want you to go there. I want you to go square, please. Where did you go now? And there you are. Right, I'm going to push this uh, right up against there, I think. Um, another moss. Perfect. Um, some log stakes. No, some wheat fields. Uh, maybe this one can be not quite in the corner. A little bit of staggering. Um, a pillar. Oh, I want a full, a full one. If it, if I have one anyway. I do. I can stick you on top. Yep. And I was just gonna put something small here. So like this part. I think that's quite cute. Okay, I like that. Um, over here, I want to put some, um, hmm, maybe it just does need like a bush or something, but, but for now, I'm going to grab, um, some log stakes. Let's see if I can push them to this corner. And what else? Um, a hay bed maybe, just to push, push here. That definitely does take up quite a bit of the space. A wheat field because <laughs> I, I just love them so much and it could do with some color here um, let's see green isn't really much of a color uh, I do use tulips here and uh, quite a lot of the flowers already um, let me grab a bush I guess okay and I'm back and I um, I grabbed I don't know if this will work but I grabbed some um, pumpkins and I think it will just add a little bit more. Yeah, sure. That's it's not too in your face, but it's it's there. Uh, I'm going to balance this side. I think with some fencing. So um, I'm not sure how much I want on this side, but maybe maybe this much. Um, maybe not. What am I going to do down here? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I should start down here or up there, but maybe I'll do both, and I'll be right back okay and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to put some hedges i'm really running out um i might have to get some more if i have any more or potentially make some um but i'll put some back here just like this i'm going to um is there a little gap here that is i could leave that but i guess i'm not gonna i'm just gonna stick a wheat field back here and i'm gonna do two pillars i'm gonna do um, the, is this the big one or the small one? The small one. I'm going to do the small one as well, but I'm going to do it next to, so. Not that one. This can go here. And I want the big one there. Um, I'm going to have to find a little friend to go on top, so I'll be right back. Okay, and I have a, a bendoid, I think it was. There he is. Uh, so he's going to go there and I'm going to just fence this in just like that. Um, mushroom. Here, push this back if I can. Uh, I can, that looks fine. Um, I suppose I could, I could do another, <laughs> another wheat field. Um, I'm a bit closer than that. Well, let me. I think this is close. I'm gonna get it. Is it necessary? Um, no. But I'll, I'll leave it there for now. It can. It can just live there. Around this corner, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and throw a another wheat field here. But honestly, I'm probably not gonna do this area because I don't know what's gonna be here. I put maybe a house idea. But I don't know. I really don't. So these are all wheat fields. I just might as well pick them up. <laughs> I've got so many. Um, hopefully I won't use all of them. Uh, but yeah, this is the view from here. I really love this 
um, this ruined arch thing. I also put a grave there because I thought that was a nice place for it to go. But once again, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. So yeah, um, have I finished the majority of this? I have. Wow, that went reasonably quick. Okay. Um, hopefully it won't be uh, too long for you to watch. But I'm also going to do a little uh, sort of like campground over here because honestly um, it's too small I think it's literally just this bit here oh I haven't done up here I have to do that as well but um, it's too small to be its own build so I'm just gonna attach it to this and here's like um, a few things like a campfire and and a stall and things like that I'm gonna use here so uh, do I have the space to put them up I do not okay um, I guess I'm gonna use these items up here first and I'll be back after I've uh, done that Okay, so I'm going to get out my wheat fields because that's what I've been doing and just uh, busy up this area, make it look a little bit more uh, lively, I suppose. Um, just, you know, like there's a lot of life going on up here. Um, back here, I probably won't do too much. Um, maybe like a tiki torch. Do I have one? I do. Uh, to give a little bit more of busyness, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. Anything else? Could definitely do with a bush. I feel like I definitely missed out on putting something here or something. Just to sort of like, I don't know, just, just busy it in. There's just not a lot going on over here. I feel like I definitely should have done some more flowers and things. So, um,. Have I made it so I can't get around? I believe I have. Although honestly, it's not really a problem. I might be able to just put this here. And that definitely fills up this space. It's not really... Can I even get back down? I don't know if I can. Can I put a vine down? I can, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna use this to get down. Okay, I'm just going to use this vine, jump back up. Just some log stakes. Um, did I put that where I need to climb down? I think I did. <laughs> can I climb down? I can. Okay. Um, that'll do. Just to sort of make make it seem like there's something going on up there. It's not a lot, but you know what? That'll do. So uh, let me pick up all this stuff that I wanted to use. Um, and I think I'm going to work on this little beach bit first since I wanted to put like, a little campfire and... A hay bale and you know just to make it seem like um when you're over there you might be able to see it because i don't think you'll see the campsite so you will see this um this little area instead okay and something like this i might pull it away a little bit um the idea is you'd sit there obviously um i, I wouldn't really want you to have um a hay right next to the fire but you know for the aesthetic uh, that's what we'll go with. Let's try and find oh, yeah, something a bit taller. And uh, maybe something over here as well. A uh, wheat field. And a pirate barrel. I think I picked up one. A sideways one. Perfect. Another wheat field. <laughs> I really want an overgrown look and uh, that's why I have so many wheat fields. Um, hopefully you'll forgive me for that. It's just, uh, yeah, what I'm going for. Do I have any more uh, of these, um, what do they call these log stakes? There we go. Okay, a bit, a bit too close. Can I put it here? Okay. I think there's fine and what else do I want over here um I think I'm going to definitely put um another barrel so I think I'm gonna put a hay bed if it lets me back here as I was gonna do um it will oh no not that way around um let me I stand here I wanted to do a maybe like a wall but actually I think a hay bed will do can I push it back anymore sure why not um a hay bed and then a barrel and then a lantern on top uh can't really see it though that's a shame 
Not really. Not really at all. Okay. Maybe you'd be able to see it if this was a different tree. Um, I mean, I've got one on me. Uh, and I can eat these. Oh, but I do like the orangeness. Okay. Maybe I regret <laughs> thinking about changing that. Oh well. You know what? I'll just leave it like that. that that's not ideal, but... It's just the way things go sometimes. Um, I did want to put another one here anyway, so I can just ignore that. And push this in. Um, you could really do with, you know, you could really do some flowers, so I really like that orange and purple look. I think that looks really nice. Um, maybe I can find a tall, um, a tall glowing moss to go here if it will let me anyway how close can these go not where i'm standing oh it can just just didn't you really didn't want to okay okay i'm happy with that that'll do for here um a little stool for over here um i might put a little cricket friend here for no real reason um a wheat field. Can I push one right in this corner? And once again, one of these. Something like this. Okay, yeah, I'm liking that. Honestly, um, I also brought this because I thought, I mean, if I hold it, it looks really cute, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't think, unfortunately, it's going to be really small if I place it. Um, so I might, I might not do that, but let's see. Uh, what's it look like? It's really small. Oh, okay. I wanted it to look more like a crook, I guess. What else have I got? Other than that, I have some um, small candles. I don't know. I'm going to take this back. <laughs> I want it. It's mine. But honestly, I'm kind of done. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with here. Let's jump over. And here, I guess I could put maybe my candles here. Sort of at that angle, just to sort of like fill that space. But honestly, other than um, sticking in, did I even do this bit? I don't think I did. Okay, maybe I'll just do this bit quickly and then I'll be done. Um, yeah, because uh, this looks very empty. I don't know why I forgot to do this. Um, let's stick a bush there. couple of wheat fields if it lets me this here and anything else um do i have anything else i have a pillar uh, where would that look good anywhere maybe here yeah i think i'll push it though like that okay and i think i'm done now so um, hopefully this little bit of decorating here and a little balloon, but I'll ignore that is alright. Um, I did it very quickly. Um, will you fit here? Sure. Okay. And I'm done. So I don't know what I'm, I'm going to do going in this direction. Um, I might do a house. I'm not sure. I need to connect it to my other build somehow. Um, I think I will do a walkway going down to my... Um, my uh, resident services at some point going this way um i've started doing another build so you'll see that soon but this was the big one this was the uh, very long one and hopefully you enjoyed it if there's an area i think you like the most let me know i'm really happy i really love the terraforming i really don't want to show you how <laughs> hard it is for me to do though it's embarrassingly uh long and painstaking this bridge fantastic i really love it I think it's quite a nice framing for this um you know this museum and i really just like the area so yeah uh, let me know what you think and hopefully i'll see you next time so hopefully it wasn't super long um it has taken me quite a long time to build but i really enjoyed doing it and it's been a while since i've done some recording on um doing some builds so thank you so much and i'll see you next time so remember Mumsy word. Goodbye.